Hey folks, this is a quick video with some Chrome DevTools accessibility tips. So I was talking to an accessibility expert yesterday and they pointed out that there might be some accessibility issues with my site. So I thought this would be a good chance to, to show some of our features in action. Um, so the first thing I wanna show you is the issues tab. Now um, for this quick demo, um, we're gonna go into experiments. We're gonna type in contrast and you're gonna wanna check the enable automatic contrast issue recording via the issues panel. Now, uh, what we can see here is that this is uh, already listed out uh, text that's difficult to read due to insufficient color contrast uh, because the color contrast is low. Um, so I'm just gonna scroll down and I see that it already lists out the elements that are affected. And one of the first ones affected is, is, is this kind of button that's at the very top. So let's go ahead and fix that. Some of the other issues are like headings and we'll tackle those in just a second. So let me bump up the zoom on this. Um, so let's see if there's an issue with the text color. And we see that inside of the DevTools color picker, it's already telling us that there's a problem. So let's expand this. Now both for AA and AAA um, on the contrast ratio side of things, uh, these have got issues. Now, thankfully DevTools uh, can automatically suggest better colors uh, here for me. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. And we can see that we're now, uh, the contrast is in a much, much better place. If I wanted to tweak these in any way, I have this nice little guide that allows me to do so. And it'll let me know if I'm stepping in or out of uh, compliance as well. So that's really, really handy. So that's kind of the first issue uh, that's tackled and I could go and deploy that change to my site. Um, we can also take a look at other issues. So if we go to these headings, I see that the headings are lower down on the page. So let's scroll down to those. It's these headings that are over here and I see that they've got some issues as well. So let's tackle those. So I'm just gonna go over here. Um, I'm gonna look for my colors. I see my colors over here. And again, we see some color contrast issues. So I'm just gonna go ahead and have DevTools fix that for me. It's a little bit darker now, a little bit easier to read. And that's gonna tackle uh, both of these heading issues. And we've got another uh, issue like lower down. I'm kind of curious what this one is. This is uh, like the copyright, I guess inside the page. I probably need to make the styling on that a little prettier, but um, yeah, let's try to fix that one too. So once again, we're inside the color contrast uh, thing here, and, and maybe I want this to be a little bit darker, so I'm just gonna do that. Um, cool, now technically that's those issues tackled. Um, you might be curious, you know, are there other things you could be doing for accessibility? And uh, absolutely yes. Um, so I wanna show you quickly um, some other things. So. Inside uh, of the DevTools Animal Elements panel, you can also enable the full page accessibility tree. And this basically just gives you an experience that's much closer to what you know a screen reader or a screen reader user is going to experience. I'm gonna do that. And something I'm curious about is actually, you know, how, how accessible is this area here? Because I've got this little scroller that lets you see books I was involved in. And um, it allows me to just kind of go into each of these sections and see like, what is the text like? What is, you know, do, does my, do my figures have uh, sufficient captions? Are they focusable and so on? And uh, one thing I wanna show you here is I can also show you like the ARIA labels if they've been specified or not. Um, there's a feature here called show source order, um, which is really cool. And what that allows you to kind of do, let's, let's expand this a little bit. Um, and yeah, just show more of those books. Um, what I'm curious about is if somebody goes into this area and you know they're tabbing, do we actually have the right order in place so that you're see you're you're tabbing across these books in the right order? And it looks like the answer is yes. You'll see that it's annotated these each with a number, so that's really helpful. Um, other things that the Dev Tools uh, allow you to do where accessibility is concerned, you know, y'all are possibly familiar with Lighthouse. Um, yes, Lighthouse is great for auditing uh, performance, but it also does accessibility. We're just gonna go ahead and analyze our mobile page load here um, and just see if there are any other issues uh, that Lighthouse may have identified. We'll see again, like the color contrast issues, you know, things that we uh, were just addressing. Those things are highlighted here as well, uh, visually. Um, other things, it seems like uh, my heading elements are not in a sequentially descending order. So for books here, I've used a H3. Um, I guess that should probably be a H2 instead. And so that's another change that I need to, to go in and make. There is one other thing I'd love to show you. So we're gonna go um, back into uh, more tools and uh, find rendering over here. 
and uh, renderings full of lots of other uh, really useful features. One of the ones I want to show you is uh, related to vision deficiencies. So um, a lot of us, like myself, my you know my disability is I need to wear glasses. I don't have the best vision. Um, and uh, lots of folks have different kinds of vision deficiencies, and it can be useful to be able to emulate those to understand like what kind of experience they're going to have. So in the case of blurred vision, um, we can see that a person you know, without the best vision is going to see something like this, and maybe that's something you keep in mind when you're building your page. Um, reduce contrast, you know, what might that look like um, if they have that mode enabled uh, on their operating system. Um, maybe they're not necessarily able to um, fully see like all of the colors. So we can help you uh, understand, you know, what is your page possibly going to look like for someone that has issues not seeing red or green or blue or, or any color really. Like if it was in grayscale, would people still be able to get, you know, enough of the value out of your page? But I think this is like a really helpful feature and something that you might find useful as you're trying to make your pages more accessible. Um, there are other things that DevTools do to help with accessibility, but for now, I hope that you found something in this video useful. Thanks.